Bro, once you master discipline, the world literally becomes your oyster, right? Like mastering discipline really opens up the door to anything you want to do in life. We live in a society that is so undisciplined and people just are constantly going for the the cheap, easy way out, right? That cheap dopamine spike, just going for what feels good in the moment, but they never think about the future. And this used to be me too. You know, when I was more so, I'd say in my later teens, somewhat a little bit in my early 20s would be, I would always be chasing that instant gratification, that thing that made me feel good in the moment, but that made me feel guilty and ashamed later on. There's a reason why so many people out here are addicted to alcohol, to weed, to porn, to smoking. And there's a reason why so many people don't see the success that they want to see. There's a reason why we have so many people out here who are fat, who are broke, who are just uninspired, who have no sense of motivation in life. And it's because they lack discipline, because they've put these habits in their life that are detrimental to their success. So many people are obsessed with these bad habits and having the, staying in their comfort zone and, and having that instant sense of pleasure. This morning, I woke up at 4 a.m. And over the past, I don't know what it's been, two weeks or whatever, I've been waking up at 4 o'clock. My life has completely changed just from that practice. And some people might go, oh, well, what's the big deal about waking up at 4 o'clock? And I'm like, well, I don't like waking up at 4 o'clock. I hate waking up at 4 o'clock. It it's, not, it's not fun. I hate it. And they're like, oh, well, then why do you do it? And I'm like, well, because it trains me to be disciplined. It's the first thing that happens when I open my eyes is I realize it's four o'clock. I realize I don't want to get up. I don't feel like getting up. I don't want to do it, but I do it anyways. And I post my, I post on my Instagram and everything just to prove that, you know, obviously I like to show what I'm doing. I like to show that I'm actually doing what I talk about. Unlike a lot of people out here, but that's besides the point. When you become disciplined, when you can start to do things like wake up early, when you can start to do things like the cold showers, when you can start to do things like tracking your macros, making sure you're in a calorie deficit, hitting your protein and training hard, training the right way, then you start to see the results. Then you start to get ripped. Then you start to be able to quit those bad habits. The bad habits that plague you so much, these addictions, they're just painkillers. The only reason that we smoke and we drink, we watch porn, all these things is because we want to get out of pain. We don't like the way our life is right now. We don't like the way it is. So we try to cover up that pain by doing something that will make us feel good. The problem is when you do these things, if there's an initial spike of like happiness, right? But then you feel kind of like ashamed and kind of guilty. You know what I mean? Like that you did it. And you, the next day, like even when you're drinking, you feel like shit the next day. Even if you don't, you're not being honest about it, you're not at a higher, you're not at the highest performance you could be at, obviously, because alcohol is a poison. It's a toxin. So then you feel like shit. So then what do you do? Well, then you go back to it again to try to feel better. And so it's just a never ending cycle. And this is the, this is a habit. This is a habit of being undisciplined. So when you, when you have the habit of being undisciplined, you basically just do whatever you want. When you feel like it, you go down to the store or wherever you pick up, you know, the junk food, the high, high sugar, high carb food, instead of getting the high protein food, you know, you should, you go and you know, you watch porn, even though you said you weren't going to watch it and you, now you've relapsed again. You go out and drink even though you know you really shouldn't be doing it and you want to be productive the next day, but you just go and drink anyways. So it's like, this is a habit. This is a mindset of being undisciplined. And this is why your life sucks. This is why the majority of people's lives suck because they don't intentionally become disciplined. When you start to cut these things out, okay, when you start to cut these things out and say no to them, and instead you focus on doing habits that actually bring you up and lift you up, right? It helps you ascend to a higher level of consciousness and of, of being in on, on this planet. That's when you start to feel this, the level of fulfillment and you don't even need to have the result yet. Like you don't need to have the physique yet. You don't need to be jacked. You don't need to be ripped. You don't need to be a millionaire or be making a ton of money yet. As long as you're on the path, as long as you're challenging yourself every day, that is the success. All those small wins. When I wake up early in the morning, I, I just get up. It's four o'clock. I go do my journaling. I go do my push-ups, my cardio, then I take that cold shower, that whole morning process that I do to get me elevated up out of the fact that I feel like shit, that I'm annoyed, that I'm angry waking up early. I feel amazing by the end of it because I've literally just stacked five, six, seven, eight wins within you know a few hour period or a couple hour period of doing things that I didn't want to do. And that's where you get that true sense of fulfillment. That's how you transform your life. Because think of it this way. Let's just say you want to get ripped. You're out of shape. You're fat. 
you feel bad about that, which you should because people don't respect you and you don't respect yourself. Let's just say you want to get ripped. Okay. I give you the blueprint. I say, Hey, you're going to need to do this. You're going to need to eat this way. Uh, you're just going to need to track your macros, you know, so that you actually know you're in a deficit, know that you're actually hitting your protein. And this is how you're going to have to train. I give you the blueprint, the literal blueprint, everything you need to do. But the problem is you're not going to be able to follow that. It's the same thing in business. If you get a, a blueprint on how to become an entrepreneur and become successful and make a lot of money and become a multimillionaire, you won't actually be able to follow it because it's not about the information. It's not the, how do I do something? What are the tactics and the strategies that is important, but it's only important after you've become disciplined. So if you want to transform your life, the first step is becoming that disciplined man is to actually do things that are hard all throughout your day, stack small wins and to push away and, and to get away from the instant gratification lifestyle that the 99% of people out here are living. And a lot of people out here, oh, it's okay, bro. You can be balanced. You can watch porn. It's fine. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, you can drink on the weekend, every single weekend. Oh, smoking weed, that's healthy for you, bro. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Because all of these people out here are so afraid of exiting out of their comfort zone. They're so afraid of facing the pain in their life and it actually forcing them to grow. That's what it is. You're afraid to grow. You're a bitch. So you just hide away from it. You just you just try to stay in your comfort zone and, and, and wake up nice and late, you know, and, and feel cozy in your covers and everything. But, you know, you're just too afraid to give up the alcohol and the weed and everything because it's just, it makes you feel good. And that's the problem. That's the problem because you can't grow unless you feel the pain in your life. If you have problems in your life right now that you want to solve, if you have goals and ambitions, then the reality is you're going to move towards them a lot faster when you get these things out of your life and you practice a disciplined lifestyle. If you don't do that, I'm telling you, like, you're not going to make it as fast as you think you are. You might not ever make it because when you drink, when you do these bad habits that make you feel bad, it puts you in a low vibrational state, right? And so that disconnects you from getting the download from the divine source. If you, whatever your religious beliefs are, if you believe there's a higher, higher intelligence or higher power in the universe, Many times we get downloads from this intelligence that are guiding us and telling us what to do in our next steps. You are cutting yourself off from that with all of these bad habits. When you live a, a lifestyle of discipline, when you're waking up early, when you're taking those cold showers, when you're making yourself do things that you don't want to do, you're feeling that pain in your life. That puts you in direct connection with the divine source. You are now putting yourself in, in a position to, be, to get downloads and to get guidance in a way that you wouldn't ever be able to if you were on the plane and on the vibration of just constantly drinking and, and all these kind of things. It just doesn't work that way. You can look at all the great people in history, right? It just, you, you just, all the people who have ever done something have actually been disciplined enough to have certain habits. The only thing that differentiates you from having the result that someone else has is just your daily habits. That's it. That's it. When I wake up in the morning at four and I get the majority of my things done before noon's over, that's a habit. Those are habits. Meanwhile, you don't get anything. You don't get anything done till the end of the day. And then you're like, Oh shit, I didn't get anything done. Well, I'll just do it tomorrow. And that just keeps stacking up over time and over time and over time. And I'm over here just crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Whereas before years and years ago, <laughs> I never used to do that. I used to play video games until I don't know, 2am wake up at 10, you know, feel like shit, feel lethargic, not really have any motivation. And you're not going to have fucking motivation when all you do is just serve yourself. And all you do is just focus on what you want and what feels good to you in the moment. I wake up early. Yeah. For myself, but also because when I'm a better person, everyone around me benefits. So when you start to switch the, the mindset of your self-improvement journey and you trying to get better just from it being about you to literally everyone you come in contact with, you start to understand, Oh wait, shit, this is a whole nother level of motivation. Now I don't just wake up for myself. I wake up for the entire world. I wake up because I need to be an example of someone who's disciplined in a world full of undisciplined people. So everyone out here is going to try to convince you to be balanced and to live a balanced lifestyle. And if you follow them, you will end up where they are. You will get their results. You will get the results of the 99%, which is just a mediocre lifestyle. That's what it is. It's a mediocre lifestyle. If you believe that you can literally live a balanced lifestyle, maintain these vices, while also trying to be successful, you're a fool. You're just a fool. You're just dumb. Because if you look at what the majority of people do, 99% of people do that and they don't end up being successful. So you have to do something different. You have to follow the blueprint and the guideline of people who are doing things different, who are doing things more extreme, right? As the, as the majority of people out there and the sheep would say, oh, it's extreme. So if you're watching this video, you're someone who wants more, obviously. Otherwise you wouldn't be clicking on this video. 
And to you, I would say, if you want to start developing that discipline, start focusing on doing things in your life that are difficult, that you don't feel like doing, even if it's just the small things. Like for me, all throughout my day, I'm doing small things. I make a video when I don't feel like it. I wake up early when I don't feel like it because it's uncomfortable. You know, I go to the gym and track my macros. Even though I don't really feel like it, I know, I know that that is what I need to do to grow as a human being and to become the highest level. A lot of people think that discomfort when they don't feel comfortable and they don't feel okay and, and perfectly at ease, they think that that means, you know, it's bad or there's something dangerous going on. But the reality is we live in a world that's so obsessed with comfort, so obsessed with speed and easiness that you have to train yourself as a man these days to actually inflict discomfort on yourself on purpose in order for you to grow. Because otherwise, you are literally just going to stay mediocre as fuck for the rest of your life. There's nothing out there that's pushing you. There's no one out there that's pushing you. And I'm not on here to fucking tell you what you want to hear. I'm not here to appease you and be like, oh, it's okay, bro. It's okay that you're fat. It's okay that you're broke. It's okay that you're, you know, you're addicted to porn and alcohol. And, and weed and you smoke all the time. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you're getting your eight hours of sleep, okay? No, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. There's millions of other YouTube channels you can go watch that'll tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear if you want to grow, if you don't want to live a mediocre life. And for the longest time, I was trapped in this. This is why I'm so passionate about talking about it. Because for the longest time, I was trapped with these vices, thinking I could just be balanced and do it sometimes. And sometimes it was okay. And to think that I didn't really need to, you know, wake up at an early hour. I didn't really need to meditate. It was okay if I skipped it. It's not okay, bro. Because the reality is that's the mindset of an undisciplined person. You already have a habit, right? All we say this, we say the only difference between successful people and unsuccessful people are their habits throughout the day, their daily habits, what they do, the actions they take. So if that's true, it's not okay for you to skip these habits. It's not okay for you to not do them because that's what makes the difference. That, that's what makes the difference between the guy who's fat and the guy who's got a six pack. That's what makes the difference between the guy who's addicted to alcohol and all these drugs to someone who's clean and disciplined and sober. That's what makes the difference between a guy who's broke and a millionaire is their daily habits. So if you can master your daily habits and you can start to do that through discipline, you will start to see your life change before your eyes because day after day, you're putting in the work. Day after day, you are doing what you need to do and you're avoiding the distractions. You're avoiding those things that would bring you into a low state and a low negative vibration. And that's just the way it works. To give you an example, anytime, anytime, literally, if I do weed, okay, if I smoke weed or I do edibles or whatever, I always then, since, since now I'm, I, I just got a bunch of dopamine spike, now I want more. I want more. So the next day I notice, oh, I'm a little bit looser with my diet. Oh, maybe I'll just skip the gym. So it all leads to into each other. You can't leave. You can't be in the middle road. you got to be on one end or the other. And I would recommend <laughs> that you jump onto the side of you know, not doing these things. You have to stop these addictions. Once you stop these addictions, everything starts to change. And part of the way that you get to that point of being able to say no to the alcohol, to the weed, to the porn, the way you get to that point is by building in discipline into your life and developing a mindset of discipline, developing a mindset of doing what's hard. When I wake up in the morning, do I want to? No. What do I want to do? I want to sleep in. I want to sleep in till nine or 10, bro. That would be so nice. I'd love to sleep in till 10, but I want to do that, but I know it'd be better for me to wake up at four. So what do I do? I do the thing that's harder. I do the thing that's harder. And as soon as I do that, I get a plus one in discipline. And it makes me feel fucking amazing because I just kept my word to myself. I kept my word to myself and I just proved that I can do the hard thing and that I can overcome it. And imagine doing that all throughout your day, day after day after day. Imagine the self-image that would build. Imagine the confidence that you would get. This is how mastering discipline changes the game. This is how mastering discipline will put you above everyone you come into contact with, will get you whatever you want in life. Because as soon as you develop that level of discipline where you can say no to the distractions, you can say no to the easy road, and you can say yes to the things that are difficult, well, guess what? You can be handed any fucking blueprint on this planet, and you can execute it and just complete it flawlessly. That's how it works. That's how it works. If you want to be successful, this is what you must do. And this is the path that I've been going down. These past two weeks have been the most productive, have been the most purposeful and intense. And look guys, I'm not fucking rich. You know, I'm not rich. If you've been on this channel, any uh, amount of time, you know, I'm not rich. You know, I rent an apartment. I just drive an average car, but I'm on a journey to greatness, right? I'm on a journey to be the highest level of myself. And the reason why maybe you're not seeing the progress you want to see. And I haven't seen, you know, I'm not like rich or anything yet. Well, why is that? Well, we think about it. 
Hmm, why am I still fat? Why am I still overweight? Well, it's my daily habits. Back when I first started getting into the gym, why was it that I was drinking so much? Why was it that I was you know, overweight and I had started to lose muscle mass and I kind of started to hate how I looked? Well, it was because of the fact that my daily habits were fucked. I was eating a bunch of junk food. I was drinking. I wasn't training at the gym. I wasn't doing cardio. I wasn't keeping track of my macros. That's what leads to it. It's all your days just added up. You add up all your days and that's what equals the result that you have right now in your life. Right now, the circumstances you're in in your life right now are all the days and all the choices you made added up into one. So today is the day you need to make a difference. Today is the day where you can make a difference for your future self. If you can change your habits today, then tomorrow you'll be living a better life. So think about that. Think about that the next time you go to you know, drink alcohol. Is this actually going to benefit me in the future? Probably not, bro. Probably not. If you can develop the mindset of being disciplined and just stop being so undisciplined that you're obsessed with these vices, you know, you're waking up late, you don't track your macros, you don't train at the gym. If you can start to change this mindset, then everything around you will start to change because you will develop the habit of discipline. And once you master discipline, your life will transform and it will change everything. That's it for this video. I hope you're doing well, bro. Take this day, think about what habits you're doing. Try to stay on the straight and narrow when it comes to your habits and keep ascending. We'll see you in the next one.